Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna throw me off. <laughs> I'm Ginger. I'm Dee. And, and this, this is Chat, Chat with Chat. We're backwards today. Yes, we are backwards. So hello everybody. <laughs> it is one week until Christmas. It totally is. Um, are you ready? Uh, <laughs> let me tell you what I'm ready for. <laughs> I'm ready to celebrate Jesus. Now, am I actually ready, ready? Ginger's sitting in my living room staring at my tree right now that only has lights and no decorations yet. one ornament on it. So that should Great. make someone out there feel better. <laughs> it's very pretty. It's very pretty. So, well, I'm ready. My tree is decorated, but I'm not completely prepared. But anyway, I love Christmas Eve services. I'm so excited for that and singing carols. I've been singing carols all month at church and um, the candlelight services, the skits. I'm involved with doing skits at church and that stuff yeah. is all so precious. Yeah, yeah. But, and you know what? I love just being able to spend some meaningful time with family. I know sometimes mm -hmm. the family gatherings can actually be a little, a little stressful, and I, I get that. Um, but also there's the times that you get to see people and spend some quality time with them mm -hmm. that you haven't maybe had in a while. Yeah. And so I really love that I love part that of it. Okay, all right. So I like to expand the joy of the holiday season as long as I possibly can. So I play my Christmas music as early as my family will let you, <laughs> let me, which isn't that early, but I do because it just brings me, it just brings me joy. I just love it. I love, it It just extends the season even longer yeah. than. Well, you know what, Ginger? There's never too much joy. There is never. So I think that's never, great. There's no such thing as too much yeah. joy. It's I'll wonderful. Over, I'll come over and listen to your Christmas music. Oh, okay. yay. That's great. <laughs> that sounds awesome. Okay. So now on to our topic of the week yeah. it's mentors yeah. oh that's a good topic it is so d how would you explain what a mentor is what is a mentor well you know for me a mentor is just someone who is just maybe a little further ahead than i am in an area where i could use some help mm -hmm. i know when i started homeschooling i've shared the story before my pastor's wife she took me by the hand <laughs> helped me choose curriculum helped me file my affidavit mm -hmm. Talked me through yeah. everything. This is yeah. how you do it. This, you know, you'll be okay. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to ruin your children. <laughs> it um, be okay. So she was a real mentor to me very mm -hmm. early on. So, okay, yeah. so if that's a mentor, a mentee is the other side of that equation. Someone who's looking for it. It can be an older person, but it doesn't have to be. Someone who's just done what you're seeking help with. Mm -hmm. um, to give advice or guidance, um, suggestions, um, you know, help, help you in something that you're looking for. I, I mentored someone who was younger than me, but I was further along in my homeschool journey than she was. So but I she really, was older than you. Yeah. I said younger than me, didn't I? She was young. I mean, she, was, she, she was, was older than me. Yeah. You were younger. <laughs> I was yeah. younger. Yeah. Whatever. But you were, further, but I was further along. You were further along. Right. Yes. So she so that's, Yeah. And so this could be at work or in a volunteer position or just in general life, whether it be yes. homeschooling or Raising your family, things like that. Yes, for sure. And you know what? This concept is not a new concept. Mm -hmm. It is in Titus 2. If you check out Titus 2, in there it talks about the older women and how we are to give instruction to the younger women and teach them how to love their husbands and their children and pretty much just how to live life with a biblical worldview. <laughs> yeah, learning <laughs> styles. Very yeah, good. Very Thanks, good. Pam. Very good. Very good. Um, so this idea has been around for... A long time, but long in time. recent years, it seems to be sort of a growth in popularity. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think so. There's a lot more people seeking, actually consciously seeking mentors. So um, there could be varied reasons for that, but people want guidance from others who have done what they've done mm -hmm. previously. Yeah. 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 So it's valuable for people to share from generation to generation. And you know what? When we, uh, when it honors older people when we go to them. It does for advice yes. and seek their help. And mm -hmm. you know, they have so much wisdom to share with they us. Do. They've been through so much. And so it honors them to seek them and, and mm -hmm. ask for their advice mm -hmm. and their help. Yeah, yeah, because why reinvent the wheel? Yeah. They've done it before, they've experienced it. Um, why not seek, yeah. seek what they've done, seek their advice. So um, the idea there is just to learn from what others have done. Yeah. So before we continue, though, we're going to take a little commercial, a contest break. It's contest, not a commercial it's not break, commercial. it's a contest yeah, break. we're giving away gifts yes. today. So contest number three. The prize is this, and if you can read it. So it's there a one-year membership, ultimate, ultimate membership. membership. Yeah, to, to the Schoolhouse Teachers. Schoolhouseteachers.com. So you get all kinds of resources Downloadable lessons, interactive content, streaming videos and ebooks, a print subscription from Trade Magazine for homeschooling families. This is from um, schoolhouseteachers.com, and we have a free ultimate membership here, and we have a code that we will give you. 
if you can answer, be the first. The first. This isn't a random drawing now. This is the, it's the first we see. Because sometimes you see your see. comment first, but it has to be the first one we the see. The first person that we see comment the answer to this question. Okay, so Handel's Messiah. Beautiful piece of music. The beautiful work. Okay, in it is the Hallelujah Chorus at the end. Commonly played at Christmas time. So, Hallelujah Chorus. Which book of the Bible is the Hallelujah Chorus based upon? So the first person who can answer that uh, yeah, gets, gets that free ultimate free membership. Membership. Oh. Very cool. Very cool. We're going to continue. Yeah, so we're talking about mentors. What does mentorship actually look like and how does it work? Okay, well, it can be as varied as there are people because it's, you know, you just, you, it's specific to the people who are doing it. So anyway, you generally, you're seeking out someone that you're comfortable with, someone that you can you talk to, that you feel like you can open up to, you can share your thoughts, you can ask questions, pretty much someone you feel comfortable being vulnerable with. Yeah. yeah. So this could be a planned meeting to get to know someone better, or you might discover a draw towards a certain person simply just by having a casual conversation yeah. when you're out somewhere together. Yeah, many times that organic yeah. relationship is the way to go. So like, um, you'll tend to gravitate towards people that you do feel comfortable with, so those are the people that, that you would want to ask to mentor you. It, there could be someone that has great wisdom and has gone before you and done a lot, but if their personality doesn't go with you, you're not going to necessarily feel comfortable really opening up to that right. person, even though they might have a wealth of wisdom. Right. And, you know, it's just really important that you just make yourself available to mentor other people because mm -hmm. there are people that need your wisdom. Yeah. They need to draw from your past experience, and you have a lot to offer them. And sometimes I think mm -hmm. we feel like, oh, I don't know if I really have enough to offer, but we have life experience, and yeah. that's all it takes. Or, or everybody even, has that. Or even you might feel like, my, it's such a wreck. Like, everything's such yeah. a wreck. How could I possibly help someone else? But they could be going through something very similar yeah. and just, yeah. yeah. Or, and and just be a little bit. behind, and, you know, um, yeah. Pam says the book of the book. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so for me, I know I've had different experiences being able to mentor people, whether it was helping them, uh, ment I've mentored them into lead Bible studies, or I've come along homeschoolers who mm -hmm. are further behind than I am mm -hmm. in the journey. Um, just different opportunities like that. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. yeah, my experience with being mentored was completely organic. I was not consciously seeking a mentor. It's not something I thought I want to find a mentor, but... Early on in my marriage, when we, you know, first had kids, we were starting to get into homeschooling. Well, this was before we got into homeschooling. God was just really opening the scriptures to Steve and I, and it brought us to a new place in our faith walk. And it was like, wow, I don't know if you've ever experienced it, but you're like, wow, and you're like, this is great, and I can't believe this. So um, we were all excited about it. Um, but we weren't getting support in it, which was kind of surprising. But the homeschool co-op that was in at that point in time, those moms... There's a few moms in particular that I got to spend a lot of time with on our free hour, and I just talked to them, and they shared with me from there, and they list from their life, and they listened to me, and just really encouraged me to stay on track with where Jesus was leading us to go, because um, we were doing what He wanted us to do, and that was just amazing. Yeah. Like it was, it was, it was, really, it was just a really amazing. And you know, Ginger, you and I have inadvertently mentored people. Yeah. We have, just by having conversations <laughs> yeah. with each other. Mm -hmm. um, some moms have heard us chatting in places like co-op or a gym class at Spooky Nook, and they've been encouraged just mm -hmm. by the conversation that mm -hmm. they've heard us having. It was really kind of funny, because we were, we were totally talking, and you got it. Pam got it. Yeah. This revelation. <laughs> right, she was Pam. researching. <laughs> Way to go, Pam. <laughs> Pam, you, you are the winner. You get the ultimate membership. Good for yeah. you. Pam, if you could just <laughs> inbox us your email address, that would be great. Yeah, that'd be super. Yeah. Thanks. So, um, yeah, we were just totally having a, just a, comp we were just talking. Mm -hmm. You and I were just totally talking. But after about 10 minutes, I realized there was this younger mom sitting very nearby mm -hmm. and she was like, <laughs> like listening. And I was like, oh, yeah. so, um, yeah, that was really cool. Uh, so anyway, okay, here we are. So <laughs> mom gathering anywhere can produce that outcome of, sure of mentoring people. So personal one-on-one -on -one meetings are where the real growth and the change happens. That's where you can be vulnerable, just really open up, talk about the hard stuff. And uh, when you can get into the nitty gritty is that's where God's going to be working Yeah, for both yeah. of you. And you know, it might seem a little scary to you, but the benefits and the outcomes are so good because God can do mm -hmm. amazing things things through those relationships and honestly ladies homeschooling is hard it is it really is, it is. It's, i mean it's 
<laughs> Nobody said it would be easy. No. And so to have someone who's been there and is a step ahead of you that can just encourage you and to give you wisdom and knowledge is it's invaluable. Mm -hmm. It really is. It really is. It's awesome. We yeah. I mean, Bonnie Griner is a another woman who has mentored me in my homeschool journey for many years. I'm sure many of you know Bonnie Griner. She was a speaker at the mm -hmm. convention, but she has just, you know, mentored me and encouraged me for many, many years mm -hmm. to just keep going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. And we need to do that. I mean, we yeah. need to encourage each other and help each other on that way. That's just yeah. how we are to do. Yeah. So is that contest number it, it four? Sure is. We're at the contest number contest four. Number. Ah, four. Okay. All right, sorry Pam, but you're out of this one because you already won one. So we have a second. <laughs> we have a second one of these ultimate memberships to give away. Pam Testy won one already, so she doesn't get to try for this one. <laughs> <laughs> sorry Pam, but we'll have uh, we have another one right now. So this is what you need to do. I'm going to read a verse from a very well known Christmas carol, but it's not the first verse because the first verse everybody knows. So I'm going to read one of the other verses. And the first person who can comment what their, what this carol is wins. So this is not a random drawing. Again, this is the first person who can answer uh, the which, name of this, the name of this carol, carol. Yes. Okay, um, gets to win this. So, all right. So this is how the verse goes. It says, how silently, how silently the wondrous gift is given. So God imparts to human hearts the blessings of his heaven. No ear may hear his coming, but in this world of sin... Where meek souls will receive him, still the dear Christ enters in. There you have it. Love so that, that is a verse from a Christmas Love carol that I'm sure many is. of you know. The first person to comment which carol that is it's wins the prize. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. so continuing with our mentor thoughts. Yeah. So, and you know this, I but do. <laughs> out there, do you know this? That there are mentors at the chat convention. There sure are. We have them right Yay. there. If you are there and you just need someone to help you out and to mentor you, and I know before I was in the position as convention coordinator, I was actually one of you were the mentors. Mentor. Yes. Yeah, this is one of the yeah. places where I would volunteer. And if anybody had questions or just needed some encouragement, mm -hmm. we are there for you. So, my <laughs> fam knows. She knows, she knows. Um, <laughs> But we have them right there at convention where you can come to the chat booth and you can just say, I need to talk to someone. And yes. we are there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I've, talked to, um, I've talked to people about portfolios, but I've also talked to moms who wanted to start co-ops. Yeah. So um, we can also help with that if you're looking for some guidance on how to handle starting a co-op, mm -hmm. what that looks like. Yeah. We can also help with that support group type stuff. So um, yeah, anything personal or group, yeah. we are there for we you. Sure so um, you can email us throughout the year. If you have questions, of course, uh, we are very willing. Kathy Vestito has been our faithful email and phone call answer right now, and um, she is here. She's here for you. Yeah, yeah. And so, Chap's phone number is 717-838-0980. So that's 717-838-0980. Or you can email staff at chaponline.com. Mm -hmm. And we also have a contact form on chapelonline.com if you want to just use that to reach yeah. out to us. Yeah, so, so that's, several ways to reach us. Yeah, that's how you can reach out to us if you're looking to be mentored by someone in the chat we, uh, organization. We are here for you. So mm -hmm. um, it is good. We are here for you, and that's great, but it's, it's really good to connect with someone local. Yeah, it sure is. Yeah. Someone with whom you can meet and actually build a relationship mm -hmm. with. Their encouragement and support can go a long way, and both of you will benefit from that. Yes, yeah. for sure. So it's another way to build up the church. Yeah. Right? So through building relationships in the mentoring setting, we're building the church. Yeah. So there are so many facets to God and so many ways to reflect his light to others, and supporting each other through mentoring relationship is just another way it that is. we reflect him. It is. It is. It's yeah. awesome. So, and it's, it's beautiful. So yeah. I hope that, I hope that this thought about reflecting Christ in this way is that leads you into a wonderful week leading up to Christmas, um, that you are ready for the babe who is coming, who came for us, came to save us. Yeah. And yeah. Man, so celebrate, the the world. celebrate with your family, maybe take a little break from homeschooling, mm -hmm. you know, thank God for Jesus and mm -hmm. the light that we have in Christ. Mm -hmm. So we wish you a very wonderful and Merry Christmas. Yes. And we will be off the next two weeks. Obviously we it's Christmas day and Day. Yeah. Day. Yeah, we won't be Somehow coming. we're not going to be doing chat. No, we're not going to be doing chat. So we'll show be you off. my lunch. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be off for two weeks, but we will be back um, January 8th.
But please don't forget the contest we yes. still have running. We have three. Yeah, Pam won one, but there's still three ways to win. So, so don't forget. We should, oh, so like, share, share and, and comment, comment your favorite Christmas your favorite carol. carol. And that's going to be for five free recordings. Mm -hmm. The other one is, I have to look at it because I can't remember all of a sudden. Oh, tell mm -hmm. us what your favorite mm -hmm. Chatting with Chap episode is. And out of all the people that do that, we're going to put in a random drawing and give you, again, five mm -hmm. tickets. And the... The like and share one was a random drawing one too. So come on, comment, like, comment, share, comment, comment, comment. Your favorite character. And then number three was the 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 big long verse I read from a Christmas carol that is well known. So the first person to say, "Oh, that Christmas carol is this," you get to win the ultimate membership. Ooh, there it is. Um, and that is the price for that. So um, if you didn't get to hear the, it's right there. If you didn't get to hear the. Um, the hymn verse, you'll have to go back in the video a little bit because it's a little bit long. But. Merry Christmas, Merry Maria. Christmas. Thank you for so watching. <laughs> <laughs> but Merry Christmas to all of you. Thanks yes. for spending your year with us. Oh, with yeah. Chap, with Chap. Mm -hmm. And we just pray your time with your family is blessed. And we will be back January 8th. Mm -hmm. Wow. Have a happy new year, everyone. Mm -hmm. This has been Chat with Chap. See, See ya. ya.